everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I have a huge yard sale haul to share with you. Our school did a fundraiser yard sale last weekend and of course I helped put it on and so as I was sorting and setting up I made a huge pile and you know I didn't come home with as much as I donated so there's a win. As you can probably see I did get a little sunburn helping out at the yard sale. I didn't quite get up into my hairline as high as I should have, so I'm sunburned, but it's okay. We're gonna move on and enjoy the haul. <laughs> we didn't price everything because there was just too much to price, so I'll give you what it would have been, but I made a donation, if that makes sense. My son Liam picked out this like Hot Wheels toy that flicks the cars and stuff, and it's got like this cool shooter outer thing. This would have been 50 cents. Our school had a lot of books to sell, so my kids all picked some books. We got several of this series. It's the Childcraft Annual. So um, Liam picked out several. This one's The Great Myths and Legends. Let me see if I can find the year in here. Oh, 1984. I was a year old when these were made. <laughs> but they're still pretty cool. So Liam also picked a few chapter books. These two Berenstain Bears weren't in the best shape, but we didn't have them and Liam really wanted them, so I said yes. This one is pretty fun if you have animal lovers in your family. Animals nobody loves and uh, there's like some spiders and bats and like the crocodile and stuff like that, so. This is a great book. And books at the sale, we're doing five for a dollar because we had so many to get rid of. So this one is another part of that set. This one's the animal one. There is the world and space. Story of the sea. Oh, and these ones are 70s. This one's from the 70s. Prehistoric animals. This one's from 76. And the C one is from 1979. So they're not all from the same year. So late 70s, early 80s. So Molly picked out a few from the Sadie Rose series. Again, this is a somewhat vintage set. She grabbed Madeline, because that's a favorite. She read this book in her class as part of their literature studies, the Johnny Tremaine book. She loved it and wanted her own copy. So we got this one. Let's see. Okay, so this one was printed in 1972. Um, she really likes the Black Stallion series as well, so she picked a couple of these. Again, I believe these are from the 70s. Oh, it was 1969 on those. She picked up The Orphan Train, which is such a sad but wonderful story. And believe it or not, we have family members who were on the orphan train years and years ago. So I thought this would be a good one for her to read too. This one Molly picked out because she loved the cover. She's like her mom. She likes a pretty book. Taking a break from the books for a second. So I found a couple bottles of this in the donations and I thought this could either be totally awesome or a total flop. Either way, um, I probably would have put a dollar on it in the sale and I bought two of them. So fresh linen smell, which I think it smells really good. Yeah, I really like the scent actually. So this was another pick of Molly's. Um, it's a little music box. I'm trying to figure out how it works. She, I think you turn it. I can't figure out how to get it to go, but it does work. And it sings one of the songs from the musical Cats. So it's not as old as it looks because I think Cats, I'm not sure when it first came out on Broadway, but anyway. Da -da 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 All alone with the memory. That one. It plays that. I don't really remember the words. It's been a while since I've seen that musical. So I have a friend who's due with a little baby girl soon, and so I thought those would be fun to give to her. There was this one, and then like a Dusty Rose one, and I can't find it. It's probably somewhere in my van. I found some really cute stationery. Thank you cards. These probably would have been a quarter at the sale if I had priced them. 24 Valentines, and they're that like vintage style that I really like. So I found a dress that totally fits that like vintage vibe that I love to dress in. It's not actually vintage, it's actually by Ishakti. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've had one of their dresses in the past, but it's just a cream color with a burgundy v-neck that comes down to a sort of swing style skirt. And there are pockets. 
super excited about the pocket. So this I think will be more in my fall wardrobe just because these colors kind of say more fall to me and the fabric's a little thicker. In clothing, we were only <laughs> charging 25 cents each or fill a bag for $2. Molly also found these cute little slippers. These would have been 50 cents and they have the little, you know, glittery, sparkly stuff that she likes. I also grabbed a pair of Tevas for Liam. I thought these would be so big on him. And I brought them home and he put them on and they fit. And I was shocked and amazed at how much my son had grown. Okay, I have another pile of books here, but these are my books, ones for, for me. And I found this one, which is um, about the Von Trapp family singers, like the real Von Trapp <laughs> family singers. And it's by the true real Maria. I'm really excited to read this. This was on my list of books I wanted to read, so now I have a copy. I also found this Story Lives of Great Composers book, and I thought this would just be super interesting. I used to teach um, classical music at my kids' school, and I want to read it and then maybe I'll see if the current music teacher would like it. So I've shared with you guys, my husband is actually the principal or we call him headmaster at our school and we found the principal's new clothes, which is a spin on the emperor's new clothes and it's pretty funny, pretty cute. So we got that just for fun to have in our kids library. I got some Christmas books because I love collecting children's books, especially Christmas and if they're vintage it's even better. I don't know if this one's actually vintage, but it's The Friendly Beasts, and I love this illustrator. So here's the illustration of the sheep, and it's the, I said the sheep with the curly horn. Da -da 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 -da. So I love it. This will go in my family's collection, and will be fun to sing along to. This one was 100% for fun. I don't have this one, Mooseltoe. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. I found another Jan Brett book that I don't have yet. I love collecting her books. She's one of my favorite author illustrators for kids. I love how even like the borders of her illustrations help tell the story. So it's called Who's That Knocking on Christmas Eve? And it's so cute. I love it. So this is by the same illustrator, Tommy DePaula, who did the... Um, the Christmas song that I showed you, and it's the Country Angel Christmas. So this one is The Stable Where Jesus Was Born. It's very pretty. I like that style. So this was one of the vintage, vintage books that I found. It's Peter Pan, and I just couldn't, I couldn't walk away from it. I just love this style of illustrations. And look at Tinkerbell on the back. So this is not Disney, Peter Pan. So it was printed in Italy, it doesn't have a year, but guessing by the style, I'd say 50s. Okay, taking a break from books again, you guys. Got a lot of books. I found some nice winter gloves for Liam. Those would have been a quarter. I found some nice black tights for Molly. Uh, for like winter time under her dresses and those would have been a quarter. Shin guards for Liam and or Clive for soccer. Really hopeful we can play soccer again. I grabbed a couple, one Adidas, one Nike. Use these a lot because we love soccer. So this is one of the weirder things that I've bought at a yard sale, I will admit. And it's one of those things where you look at and you go, that could either be really awesome or just be a total dud. I got this Cuisinart waffle maker. And if it doesn't look totally clean, it's because we've used it like three or four times since I brought it home. But it stands up like this, and it has this thing on the top that you pour your batter into. And it clicks right here. Let's see if I can do it backwards here, yeah. So then when your waffle's ready, you open it this way and pull the waffle out. And you know, they sell on Amazon for like $45. I was putting $5 on appliances like this, so I would have paid five bucks for it. And we tried it out and we love it. <laughs> We've used it many times, like I said. So another practical purchase was just a curling iron. I just needed one <laughs> and it was in working shape, nice and clean. Okay, this was a fun thing that I got for Clive. So it was this Melissa and Doug like pizza set and it had all the little pizza pieces 
and they kind of stick together and you can put on the little you know toppings and then you can cut them apart with the pizza cutter and he would love it and he absolutely loves it I got him this little toaster and there's the little toast that goes in it that pops up like that which is really fun and then there's all these little cut apart fruits and veggies and there's a little knife where he can you know cut those apart so there was those and a few other like food type cooking items and so all in that basket so the pizza set and all these other little things and he has been playing with it non-stop so i think that was a good that was a good pick okay just a few more books i promise <laughs> we got the entire little house on the prairie set i've been collecting these one by one um just at yard sales and thrift stores and i only had I think four of them so now I have the entire set and I can pass on the individual ones that I have they are well loved but that's okay we'll love on them even further this is another weird thing that I got oh that's really heavy oh okay but this is a throwback you ready it's a whole box of this printer paper that has the little dots on the side like from the 80s and 90s you guys remember that and it's a whole box of it, and that's all connected. Do you guys remember this? Not anyone remembers this? It is three layers thick, so that you could have extra copies when you printed stuff. But it's still useful, you guys. It's still useful. And these last few things I got not for myself, but to put on my Poshmark to sell, and then whatever I make from that, I can donate it again to the schoolyard sale fund. This is another Ishakti dress. And I originally got it thinking it would work for me, but it's too big. It's got this really pretty boat neck, this gorgeous purple, and then this really pretty pleated floral skirt. It's so pretty. And Ishakti dresses are really high quality, so I'm going to put this one up on Poshmark, and again, any proceeds would go to the school. I do have my Poshmark link down below if any of this looks fun. So someone donated a Dooney and Burke purse which um, is a really great purse band and it, and it came with the uh, little dust cover thing. And it's in great shape, really pretty basic bag, nice gorgeous red lining, just beautiful. So I am going to go ahead and sell this on Poshmark as well and hopefully we can make a good amount to go to school. Then there was a Kate Spade dust bag, but it didn't have a Kate Spade bag with it, just the dust bag, but I'm gonna go ahead and list the dust bag because someone might need one for their Kate Spade purse. But there were a couple pairs of shoes that I went ahead and set aside. There's a pair of Clarks, these lovely classic loafers. If they were my size, I probably would have kept them. And then a pair of Danskos. Now, I used to wear dance coats when I was a classroom teacher full-time because they're just super comfy and they have this like pretty wedge and they're a nice sandal. So I thought these would sell well on Poshmark too. So I went ahead and grabbed those. And I believe we have reached the end of my haul and I am absolutely buried in stuff. And I'm super grateful we were able to find so many things that we need. Oh, I almost forgot this t-shirt that I'm wearing. It's cute and basic, but then it has this like little twisty knot here on the bottom, which I thought was really cute. Um, just another like sure I can put on as an extra in my wardrobe so it looks cute too with that pink skirt that I have that I showed you guys so that is all I got and if you're still here at the end kudos to you you're amazing <laughs> for being here to the end uh, let me know what you guys have been finding lately and if you had any favorites here that I shared it was a lot of practical stuff a lot of books I love shopping secondhand it's amazing what you can get so thank you so much for hanging out with me you guys here at the sweet and simple home I'm always grateful when you come by and watch my videos and if you missed it I posted last week this really funny video I made I tried to make it like a vintage infomercial with a vintage recipe. I had so much fun making that video so if you haven't seen it yet I'm gonna link it here but I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you again for watching. Uh, you guys take care and I'll be back with more soon. Bye!